On November 4th, the space company known as Rocket Lab will be launching their first customer payload in Q4, marking their 12th launch overall for the full year of 2024. Despite its slow start to the quarter, Q4 is expected to be Rocket Lab's busiest quarter to date. The question on everyone's mind, however, is just how busy this quarter is about to be. On November 12th, Rocket Lab will be reporting their financial results for Q3 alongside guidance for Q4. In this video, let's take a look at what to expect. My name is Scott. Welcome to the channel. Let's talk Rocket Lab. So starting with launch, Rocket Lab guided for $21 million in Q3, representing three launches. During the quarter, we saw Rocket Lab's fifth launch with Inspective, their fifth launch with Capella, and their second launch with Kinesis. With all three launches under their belt, it's safe to assume that this $21 million target will be met for launch services. Moving over to Space Systems, Rocket Lab guided for 79 to 84 million. While the Space Systems side of the business isn't quite as visible as the launch side, Rocket Lab has a positive track record for meeting, if not exceeding, Space Systems guidance. With both revenue lines expected to be on track, a combined range of 100 to 105 million can be expected for Q3, representing quarter over quarter growth of negative 3.5% and year over year growth of 51.5%. Also guided for is operating expenses of 80 to 82 million and adjusted EBITDA loss of 31 to 33 million. As of Q2 end, Rocket Lab had just north of $1 billion in backlog. With a revenue mid-range of $102.5 million expected to be recognized in Q3 and $58 million in bookings throughout Q3, this leaves Rocket Lab slightly below Q2N's backlog, though it's worth mentioning that the Q3 bookings are comprised of publicly known contracts only, therefore this number is likely to be a slight bit higher than what is shown on the screen. Next up, let's look at what to expect for Q4. With zero launches in October, Rocket Lab is off to a slow start for Q4. As recently as October 11th, Rocket Lab is quoted expecting 15 to 18 launches for the year, meaning four to seven in what is now a two month window throughout the remainder of Q4. Five to six launches in the quarter seems like a safe bet, representing 42 to 49 million. For space systems, we can expect the remainder of the MDA contracts to be recognized in Q4, resulting in a slight appreciation over Q3's revenue, landing us around 85 million. Putting these two business lines together arrives Q4 revenue expectations of 127 to 134 million dollars. To simplify, we'll use the midpoint of 130.5 for Q4 representing 27.3% growth quarter over quarter and 117.5% year over year. Using these same assumptions arrives the full year comparison from 2023 to 2024 at year over year growth of 76.6%. Now to wrap things up, there are three things that I'm looking for from earnings. The first is the number of launches in Q4 and thus the full year. The second is the status of the Reaction Wheel customer. We've talked a lot about that on this channel. Of course, we're not going to stop now. Why would we? And the final thing that we're looking for is the status of the Venus mission. So we've already talked about the number of launches in Q4. So let's talk about the Reaction Wheels. The Reaction Wheel customer is still under wraps, but there was something interesting that I noticed on Rocket Lab's website after a recent update. In early August, a number of data sheets were updated for Rocket Lab's merchant components. One update that stuck out to me was the removal of their standard 12 NMS wheel. On the updated sheet, the only option detailed is the high radiation build. So whether this means that the standard version is no longer being built or that the rad hard version is the new standard, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Next up, let's talk about the Venus mission. 
On October 25th, Rocket Lab uploaded a photo from their spacecraft production complex in Long Beach with three members of their spacecraft family on display. The Lightning, the Explorer, and the Pioneer. The reason that this photo is worth highlighting is because Rocket Lab shipped two NASA commissioned Explorer sats back in August. The only other Explorer sat Rocket Lab might be working on is the craft that is destined for Venus and as you can see by the photo, is quite far along. To splash some cold water on this hypothesis, however, back in August on the Orbital Mechanics podcast, when asked if the Venus mission is on an Explorer craft, the speaker mentions that Rocket Lab have played around in the background to see if there's any contingency reasons to switch from an Electron with an Explorer bus to Neutron with a Pioneer bus. So it's unclear if this is something that is actively being discussed or if this is something that has been considered in the past. Occam's razor tells us that this is simply an old photo, but it would definitely make for an interesting earnings call if Rocket Lab were to announce that the Venus craft is launching during the window that starts later this year, and perhaps even flying on a booster that was previously flown earlier this year. What are you hoping for from earnings? Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to check out the Patreon to view and download the models that I reference to make these videos for you. These include price targets that go all the way out to 2030. Worth mentioning as well is that a number of new models will be available in the coming weeks, including Redwire, Black Sky, MDA Space, and potentially more. So thank you guys for the hangout. Good luck during earnings, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.